So I'm going to show you how to do something. I think it's kind of cool. Let me tap on this. How to play a video in your DPS app and then have it go away. Just like that. So it's, it's actually pretty simple. I'll go back over to InDesign. And what I've done is I've got the final here, so let me get rid of this. You, some of you are probably going to know how to do something like this, but what I did was I, I placed an MP4 video. You can see it right over here. Placed my video, and you can use a lot of different things if you want to. And in the video itself, what I did was in the Folio Overlays panel, I went in and said Autoplay, and you can set a delay and different things. Then what I did was I created this frame, if you will, right here with a black color and a transparency. And then I grouped the two of these together. So that's going to be one object in our state. We're going to create an object state. Then I created, you can either have a, a bunch of your pictures, like one picture, if you want to put that in the background, like your artwork or your design. Or I just created a blank frame to go in the back. And then what I'll do is I'll take two of these, or both of these rather, and I'll just align them together. Go to object states. Go ahead and convert it to a multi-state object. And you'll see. Turn on, turn off. You'll see what it does. Now, let me go back. Drag it over in your page, get it aligned, get it where you need it. And the last step here is to go to Folio Overlays. And sometimes you can't see what's here. It'll, it'll be blank. In other words, click and then reselect. And you can see Slideshow. Make sure it's set to Autoplay. Let me zoom in. And then don't loop it. Stop it at the last image. You can fade it if you want. And, you know, you can do some different things. But make sure that the interval is set to the length of your video or a little bit longer than your video. So, you know, 10, 12, 2, whatever it happens to be, however many seconds, etc. it is. And that's it. Go ahead and save it and go test it out and you've got yourself a video that disappears.